And that's it, we're in the sheep area and uh, these are magnificent sheep and a great, great event. But we have a lady here who's a judge and she's after flying in the whole way from England. Hello, Heather. Hi. Heather, we're going live on our Facebook channel from Mullingar in Mullingar, promoting what's good and great about our town, our people and our business. Heather, you have flown in to be a judge at this event. What exactly, I know it's sheep, but what exactly is it? <laughs> well, these guys are, well, something more than sheep, to be honest. These guys are more like dogs. Um, they're... Um, an incredibly special breed of sheep, all the way from Switzerland originally, um, and they are incredibly popular with breeders, smallholders, farmers alike. Um, just for their their inquisitive nature, um, their yeah, their police that well, just look at them, they are just stunning. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I mean, like everyone in Ireland and probably all over the world has really taken to um, making their dogs look fantastic, but these people are making their sheep look amazing. They are. They, they put in a lot of hard work. I can see these sheep today in front of us. Yeah, they are stunning. And we'll just turn our camera around here. Sorry for putting that in your way. So this is some of the sheep. Now you're judging them. What exactly are you looking for in the judging? Okay, so I'm looking for a sheep that has a great wide stance. Um, a sheep, basically a sheep that looks like a polar bear. So it needs to have lots of wool on the face and legs. Um, it needs to have a, a really wide stance, a deep chest. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's all about the looks. And uh, so is there just one clean competition or is there a few competitions here in the Mullingar Agricultural Show? Um, sorry. Sorry, I beg your pardon. So um, is it just one one competition or is there many competitions? Like are you looking big sheep, small sheep, baby sheep? Uh, well, this is the first class. So this is the ewe lambs, um, four to six months. We then go on to the ram lambs, four to six months. Then um, ram, uh, ewe lambs, seven to 12 months. Ram lambs, seven to 12 months. Uh, then you use you 12 to 24 months, yes, and so on and so on. So, yeah, there's a lot of classes to get through today. And a lot of uh, different people coming from all different places around Ireland today, apart from yourself travelling from England. That's correct, yeah. Where yeah. in England are you from? Uh, I'm from Bakewell, um, right in the Peak District, in, in the central... Sheeping area. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. It's all sheep country by us. And I believe that you are uh, the farmer in the house. Yes, I am, absolutely, yes, yeah. So you're, did you start off in the sheep business or would your father have been a shepherd or what would be the connection to get you involved to be a judge? Yeah, so I'm a farmer's daughter, so um, I've been farming all my life. Um, we have 700 ordinary sheep in the Peak District, um, but I also have a flock of 70 of the Valet Black Nose and I've been breeding since 2015. And um, did you go to Switzerland to get these? Uh, no, actually, mine were imported from Switzerland. I didn't go directly to get them. But in 2015, you could import them directly from Switzerland. Of course, you can't now. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to look at something different out of my kitchen window. I was fed up of looking at ordinary sheep. And I thought, wow, these guys are what I need to look at. You're a legend. And it's become an addiction, honestly. It's, uh, they are super addictive. And uh, you, must make sure, you must make sure to uh, put yourself in for the best dressed lady in the show today because you're looking... <laughs> absolutely amazing once again thanks heather no problem thank you have a good day thank you well there you are what a fantastic lady and uh, what amazing sheep so we'll just we'll just sneak in here to some of these magnificent look oh wow well done lads You're doing a great job class now, and a big audience here as well, so we'll let everyone 